Hi everyone, this is Ivona. I will show you today a very quick and basic tutorial on how to use layers and masks in Photoshop. This is for someone who, who is just starting with Photoshop and has um, very like no or very basic knowledge on how to use that. I'm going to show you how to do a very simple head swap. So when you have like a group photo and one of the people is looking very nice and the other not very much, but you have another photo on which that person is looking very good. Um, so then you can combine those two and have like two perfect faces in one photo. So basically to do that, all you need to know is to understand how my layers and masks work uh, in Photoshop. So we're going to start with uh, this one layer. I already opened up one photo here. And before I import another photo to this image to uh, to have her face like um, to have her eyes a little more visible. Uh, I will show you um, how layers work. So first we have one layer which is called background layer and now it's locked because it has this little lock. If I click on the little lock that's going to turn into layer zero and it is, it is no longer locked. It means that I can move it around um, or I can delete that or I can um, do other stuff to that layer. Uh, so, for example, if I want to move that layer, I will use the move tool, which is the first one on the left. If you if you're looking at your Photoshop and you find it a little different, so you have different um, tools on the sides, what you need to do is go to window, workspace, and then change it to photography, and then you will see all the uh, all the tools looking the same way. Okay, so I'm going to use my move tool and now I can move this layer around. As you can see, underneath there is this white and gray um, background, which is um, basically this kind, of, uh, this kind of pattern means that there's nothing. It's like emptiness in Photoshop. So there's nothing underneath that layer. I'm going to place it here. And this is called canvas, like the work... Um, the, the area where you can work and move your image around. That can be changed also. Uh, if you want to know how I can quickly show you, you can go to um, image and kind of a size and this is where you control the size of this um, work area. So right now we have one layer called layer zero. If I want to create new empty layer, all I need to do is click on that little plus sign and it's going to create a new empty layer. There's nothing on it. There's nothing covering my image. Uh, I'm going to take a brush now and just paint anything on top of that. I'm just going to change my flow for, for a moment and see how I'm just painting something. Um, but I did not paint it directly on my image. I painted that on my new layer one. So now I can move this without moving the, the layer underneath. I can also change the layer order. I can move this layer underneath my image. And now it's, you can't really see that because it's underneath the image. I can move it up. I can also copy the layer. I can copy the layer by clicking Command J. And now I have two layers, two exactly the same layers. I can delete the layer. I can just drag, drag and drop it onto the um, trash bin in the in the corner, or I can just click delete on that layer, and that's going to be deleted. So that's basically those are layers. I can create a new layer and then take another brush and paint something else on that on top of that. And again, I can change the order of my layers. And this is how it works. That's this is how easy layers are. Uh, the other thing I can do with my layer is to change opacity. If I drop it down, then I can see through that layer on top. I can see the blue one. And if I turn it back on, then I can't really see through that. Maybe it will be more visible if I put that layer zero on top and then I change the opacity and you can see all the layers from below. 
Another fun thing about layers is that you can change the blending modes, which is another thing, but I'm just going to show you that if I ever mention in any of my videos and I'm changing a blending mode, that means that I go here when it says normal and then I choose something else. For example, I often use um, screen for my overlays. If you uh, ever watch any other of my YouTube videos, you will see me using screen um, blending mode very often. I'm going to delete those two layers now, layer one and layer two, for a moment. And now, you know, actually I'm going to delete them and create another layer again. I'm going to show you how layer masks work now. So to create a layer mask, I'm going to click that little um, icon on the bottom that looks like a rectangular with a circle inside. And this created a layer mask, which is another like a white box next to your layer. Make sure that if see if I click on the layer, now the layer is being like has this little frame, like white frame around it, means that the layer is now active. And if I click on the layer mask, now the layer mask is active. What it means like white layer mask work like that. If it's white, then the layer is visible. If the layer mask is black, then the layer is invisible in this certain area. I'm going to show you now, if I, for example, try to make my layer, layer now black, and I'm going to do that by clicking Command and I, I as invert, so I'm going to invert the colors, meaning that uh, white is going to be the opposite, which is black. Now, that layer is invisible. It's still there, you can still see it here, but it has the black layer mask, meaning that this layer is completely invisible. I'm going to change it back to white, and now you can see the, the blue is back. Now I'm going to hide it in some certain areas. I'm going to use a brush and paint black. So I'm going to make sure that black is here on top, and I'm going to paint here black. And now, as you can see, part of this, this layer now is invisible and I can see the layer from below. You can see where I painted over here. If I want to bring back blue uh, brush on that layer, I just need to paint white again and now it's going to be visible again. So it's, it's much better way of hiding part of the layer than using a, an eraser tool, because if you just erase part of your image and you want to bring it back, well, it's almost like, it's almost impossible. You can always go back by clicking Command or Control Z uh, as to undo what you've just done. But it means that if you, for example, if you erase a part of the layer, and didn't notice that you made a mistake and then you did uh, many, many steps uh, after that. And then you realize that you actually accidentally erased part of your image and you want to go back, you have to undo all the steps that you've done on after that. That's why we use layer masks because that allows us to go uh, to hide part of the layer and then show it if we want to do it like on, at any step in time of our editing. So I'm going to show you now how to combine two images using layers and layer masks. I'm going to delete that layer one for a moment and I'm going to bring another image here. I've got this image that I want to bring in here. And now as you can see here on this image, the face of the girl is much more visible. Uh, and But the boy, face is covered with his hand. So I actually want the girl's face from this image uh, but overall, I, I want this image to, to be my basic image. So I just actually want only her face on this. I need to place it in the right spot. And this is where um, my opacity might be helpful. I want to change my opacity. And I'm going to use my move tool and try to put her face um, in the right spot. Sometimes that might be a little difficult uh, if you're trying to make sure that um, those two layers just are placed exactly where they should be. Uh, I will give you a tip here. If you want to align those two layers uh, to make like things that didn't change between those two images be exactly in the same spot, you might just 
uh, choose the two layers, it just the way that you, for example, try to choose two files to copy. You just hold Control or Command on your keyboard and click on those two layers. So click one in layer and the second one still holding Control on your keyboard. And then you go to Edit and then you go to Sorry, that didn't work just because I need to this this layer as I was added as I added it like just by dragging and dropping into this image uh, was um, created a, a smart object which is um, which is another thing that we're going to talk about in another video. I'm going to right click and rasterize this, change it just to a, a normal layer. Now I selected two images and then I go to edit and auto align layers. And just click auto here and that should align those two layers. So like the things like the, this, this trunk or the, or the grass around uh, did not move at all. As you can see her pace changed a little. So I'm just going to zoom in here and I'm going to place a layer mask on the top layer. The top layer is a little transparent right now, so I need to change the opacity back to 100. And I'm going to add a layer mask on top of this one. Now, now the layer mask is white, and if I paint black on part of this, it's going to hide this. I'm going to paint black, so I'm going to change my, bra uh, my color um, to black. And I'm going to paint here, and now the boy is showing up from the image that's below. Well, that's fine, but I guess I would have to paint all around the image apart from the part from the from the place where her face is, and that's going to take a lot of time. It'll be much easier if my uh, my layer mask was originally black, and then I was playing painting white. So meaning that the whole layer is going to be hidden, and I'm just going to paint white white where I want this layer to be visible. Uh, I will make my my uh, layer black by clicking Command and I, and now it's changed to black, meaning that the layer on top of this is invisible. If I turn it off and on, nothing is happening because this layer mask is completely making this layer completely invisible anyway. So I'm, now it's going to use a white brush and paint white on that black layer mask showing her face from underneath. As you can see, um, it's not making the best result because uh, this, this brush is a little harsh and then this is uh, interrupting, so I need to be a little more smart when doing that. I'm going to click com Command and Z or instead of clicking Command and Z, what we can do if, if we paint something and then we say like, oh, that's not right, what we can do is go back to black and paint black again and make this part of the layer mask black. And that's how it like that's why layer masks are so great because you can go back and forth. Like if I paint something white and I think, oh, that's not right, all I need to do is paint black again, and that's going to uh, bring everything back to place. Uh, and now I'm going to do um, a real head swap. So I'm just going to swap her head for the one that we, where she's looking a little up. Um, but I need to change a little, a few things around here. First of all, I'm going to need a white brush. And then when choosing my brush, I want this brush to be soft. So I can use, for example, this round, soft round, or if you are on any other other one, you just can you can just change your hardness to zero. I'm gonna use soft round for the first one. And then I've got the, that opacity and flow. And if you want to know like why I prefer to use flow in that case, you can uh, watch another video on my YouTube channel, which I'm going to link down below. Um, this one is going to um, make the, the brush not show up like 100% time at one stroke. I will have to make a few strokes in the same spot. And thanks to that, I will make the edge of my brush a little more soft. And it's going to help me to blend those images seamlessly. Okay, so I'm going to 
paint a little on her face. As you can see that her face moved a little. So I'm going to move my layer into a certain spot. Right now I'm moving both layer and the layer mask because those are linked. You can see they're little, there's a little link sign in between those two layers. You can always unlink that. Sometimes um, I have like a sky when I really have the mask done and I just want to move the sky a little without touching the, the layer mask which is in place, then you can unlink that and move either the layer or the layer mask. Right now I'm moving both, both the layer mask and, uh, and, um, and the layer. So I'm just going to place it where I need to be. Okay, her hair is a great spot where I can blend in those two layers. So I'm just going to make sure that I just painted in it entirely. And again, if you just move um, a little um, and if you do a little too much of that, you can always go back by changing your color back to black and then paint it back in. Okay, so just to make sure that you understand, I'm going to show you that on a completely new layer. I'm just going to create a new, uh, for example, um, blue layer. And again, if I want to hide this blue, blue layer in a certain spot, all I need to do is create a layer mask, which is going to be white by default. There's a tip. If you want to create a black layer mask, which hides the layer completely, you can while creating the mask, you can hold Option or Alt on your keyboard and click on the layer mask. That's going to create a black layer mask and make the layer invisible. If you want to invert, so change the color from black to white, all you need to do is click Command and I on the keyboard. So now I can paint in black in a certain area and that's going to make that layer, that blue layer, in this place, invisible, and show the layer from underneath. And if I paint black, um, uh, sorry, white again, now it's going to hide the layer and again show the white, the blue layer in that area. And again, uh, another tip: if you want to copy the layer, that's also that's very useful. Uh, in Photoshop to copy your layer, especially if you're doing something destructive. Um, maybe we'll talk about that in, a, in another video, how to remove things from an image, but those are destructive things. And if you then knowing how to copy a layer just to preserve the original one from being destroyed accidentally, all you need to do is command, click Command and J to copy or I'm going to click Command Z to just get rid, rid of that for a, moment, for a moment. Or you can just drag this layer onto that plus sign and then it's going to copy your layer. I hope now that you got the basic knowledge on how to uh, create new layers um, and use masks to hide part of a layer or show part of a layer. It's going to be easier for you to follow my tutorials that you can find on my um, on my website vonapodlesinska.com or you can find, I can watch the other videos that I have here on YouTube where I show you how I add things like snow or, um, or bokeh or other overlays to my images. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure to check my uh, incoming workshops uh, and tutorials on my website and I will see you next time. Bye!